Consider the graph of the function f of x equals x squared minus 4x shown. Calculate the derivative f dashed of x. So to calculate the derivative, we can use our rule, which says that f dashed of x is going to equal, and we take the power 2 here and we multiply it out the front, so we're going to have 2 times x to the power of, and we take 1 off the power, so that's just going to be 2x. And then here, technically, the minus 4x has a power of 1, so multiplying by 1 just gives minus 4, and then taking 1 off the power gives x to the power of 0, and anything to the power of 0 is 1. So that means that the derivative, f dashed of x, is equal to 2x minus 4. Next, we want to find the gradient of the tangent to the curve at x equals 3. So to do that, we just evaluate the derivative, f dashed, at x equals 3. So substituting that in, we have 2 times 3 minus 4, and 2 times 3 is 6, and subtracting 4 is going to equal 2. So that's the gradient. So on our graph, if we have a look, this is the point here when x equals 3. And if we draw a tangent to that point, we can see that this is the rise and this is the run. And the ratio is 4 to 2. So the gradient is equal to 4 divided by 2, which is 2. And that's the same as what we found back up here. However, using the rule to find the gradient is far more accurate than sketching a tangent. So that's why we go about finding the derivative so that we can find the gradient to a curve at a point. For part C, we want to find the values of x such that the gradient of the tangent to the curve is zero. So what we want to do here is we want to set f dashed of x is equal to zero and solve for x. So f dashed of x has the expression two x minus four, and we want that to equal zero. And next we can add 4 to both sides of the equation, therefore 2x is equal to 4. And if we divide both sides by 2, that will give us x is equal to 2. So that is the value of x, such that the gradient of the tangent to the curve is 0. And on our graph, that occurs at this point here, where we can see that we have a run, but no rise along that tangent. That's also called a stationary point, and we'll be exploring those more throughout the course.